So we have date functions. So first of all, I'm going to showcase year, how to create year, quarter, month, week, weekday, and day. And we can also create a calendar on top of these dates. Instead of using a filter or a parameter, I'm going to showcase how to create a calendar within the sheet level. So first let's go for date functions, create a calculation field. We have a function called as date part where we can create all these uh, part of dates. So first I'm going to create a year of year comma order date. You can see the syntax is date part of again date part. So what exactly you want to create? That is I want to create year. So don't use capital Y or capital letters here in this date part syntax. So you can see right. So whenever you are going to use caps or uh, capitalize, you can see you are getting an error. So don't go for capital letter here. We can make use of a small letter date part of year comma order date. Okay, the calculation is valid. We are going to get year. So let me type in an alternate solution. So we can also we can also use year of order date. We can also use year of order date, but we don't want to use both at a time, right? So let me comment this. You can use comment double forward slash. Okay year of order date, date part of year comma order date, or you can also use year of order date. Year, so whenever you're going to create date part of year or quarter or month, it will give you the number, right? So we do have year 2017 or 2018, something like that. So obviously it is going to comes under measures by default because of the number or integer data type or the number decimal data type. So what we can do is just simply you can drag and drop into dimensions so that you can see uh, the year dimension here. So now you can double click here. You can see the data for particular year. That is what. So if you want, you can recheck. Let's we can we are getting 2017 2018 19 and 20 you can drag and drop order date as you know whenever you are going to use order date we are going to get by default year of order date just drop here you can see 2017 18 19 and 20 that's the result we are getting the same here so whenever you are going to use a separate calculation field for year okay so i have created both uh, and i commented one of the calculation if you want to try, you can you can uncomment this, and uh, you can comment the first the first line of code. The calculation is valid. Let's click apply. You're getting the same results. You're not getting any error, correct? So year of order date, or you can also use date part of order date, date part of year comma order date. So you are going to get a year field. You are going to extract year field on uh, from uh, order date column okay so let's create quarter analysis create a calculation field before nine, 2019 i think we don't i think 2019 or 2018 subversions not exactly sure but we don't have quarter function before that but they introduced quarter function so before uh, if you want to create a quarter so we used to uh, use date part of maybe if you have a month month fill on top of that you can create some groups right you can group some of the months like first three months to q1 april may june to q2 something like that but here we have a date part function which you can use quarter don't use shortcuts type in the complete naming convention of quarter sometimes you used to type in qtr so date part of quarter comma order date the field which we are going to use is order date so or as i said they introduced a function called as direct function called as quarter so you can use quarter of date related data type that is order date so let's comment this and i'm going to give a naming convention quarter 
as I said, by default, it comes under measures. Simply you can drag and drop into dimensions. Double click, you can see. We are able to see year and quarter. Okay, just swapped. So we have uh, year wise, quarter wise. If you want to showcase sales information, just double click on sales. You can showcase year wise, quarter wise sales. So the next one is I'm going to create month. Basically, we do have a couple of things. We have month number and month name. So let me showcase that as well. So let's copy this code first. Let me use this one. Date part of year from order date. This is for year. And for quarter. If you want to edit all the calculation fields, just go back to analysis, edit calculation field, check the year from here, and you can go back to analysis, edit calculation field quarter, and you can just check the calculation field, or if you want to edit, you can use analysis and edit calculation fields from there. So for month, interestingly, as I said, right, so we do have month ID and month name. So let's go for month number first or month ID, simple month number. So you can use analysis, create a calculation field. I'm going to use date part, the same function, date part of month comma, order date to get month, month ID or month number or the alternate solution, as I said, uh, you can use direct functions. Sorry, first remove the comments and go for the calculation field. Month of order date directly, you're going to get a month number, but I'm just showing the date part functionality. Okay, so date part of month, comma, order date, you are going to get month number. Let me copy here. So for month name, uh, this is very important. It's actually simple, but you should know the functions. So go back to analysis, create a calculation field. So you can use date name function to get month name. We actually have date part, okay? So part of date, which we are going to get uh, the number functionality or integer data type. Uh, let me again it comes under measures as i say right year quarter month day it comes under measures just drag and drop into dimensions and first let's put month number here so you can see let's check the data here you can see for quarter one you are getting one two three for q2 you can see four five six and so on so we, we are getting proper data that is proper month numbers proper quarter and uh, we have proper segregation of these states so, but uh, my requirement is I want to showcase month name. So if you want to display month name, naming convention, you can make use of month comma or a date. So date name function, we don't have an alternate one here, but we can, you have to use the date name function to display month name. Okay. And you know, like month name is the function where you can see the naming convention. Whenever you are going to use month name, it doesn't come under measures because we are displaying the naming convention. And by default, you can see the data type is string. Okay. So it's direct actually. So you don't want to convert into dimensions because uh, we are displaying the naming convention. So just drop here. So we are showing quarter and month number and month name. Similarly, I'm going to create the other levels as well. So week number. So how to create a week number? Let's create a calculation field. So let me use, or let's check first, do we have a week function? Yes, but we, we cannot see any weekday function. So we can see only week function, okay? So let me use date part. By default, we are going to 
create all this by using date part, right? So let's use week, week comma order date. So from this, we are going to get week number. So by making use of date part function, you're going to get uh, obviously the integer or the number data type. So as I said, we have a week function. We can directly use week of order date so that you're going to get week number. But let me copy this. So just drop into dimension and place here. So obviously we are going to get around 53 weeks, right? 53 weeks of data, yes. So this is a, fun, this is a formula for date part of week of order date. Okay, now let's go back to weekday. So we have both, right? So we have weekday and weekday name and weekday number. So let's check. So let me insert here weekday name. So generally we use uh, the naming convention weekday, but what's the difference? Like we are going to number, we are going to see numbers and uh, naming convention, some similar to month ID and month name. So let me use date part function first. date part of type in weekday comma order date weekday hashtag number so again as i said right whenever you are going to use date part it comes under measures you can drag and drop into dimensions and just drag and drop weekday here so that you can see the numbers from one to seven Okay, so you can see uh, for particular uh, week, you can see from one to seven. So, okay, but I want to know what is one and what is seven. Let's say one might be Monday or one might be Sunday. Just check on that. I just want to check on that because sometimes I want to exclude uh, Saturday and Sunday sales. So I, I, I just want to create weekday name. So how we are going to create weekday name so just create a calculation field. And uh, as I said, right, to display the naming convention, we can make use of date name function, okay? So similarly, month name for, for weekday, we are going to use weekday comma order date. By making use of date name function, we can fetch weekday, that is weekday name in general, but uh, I actually used uh, weekday hashtag to display the number. So that's the reason I'm using weekday instead of weekday name. So because of the uh, date name function is a string, we are obviously we are going to see uh, ABC that's a string data type. So let me copy this particular formula as well. So this date part of weekday comma order date which will display, which we are displaying the numbers. So this is the one. So the final one day, but let me display weekday name. So just drop here. Now clearly you can see, so I do have quarter and uh, Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4, Q4, something like that. So we are displaying one, two, three, four, it's okay. So we have month level data and you can also display month name, January, Feb, March, April, something like that. And you can also display week number, weekday number and uh, proper weekday name. You can also filter out some part of data as I say, right? I just want to exclude Saturday and Sunday sales in some requirements, okay? So uh, just for uh, Clarification, I just created weekday names so that we can showcase proper uh, weekday names. Okay. And if you want to create day, I know we do have a lot of days, but generally you can use both, like uh, we can use day part, date part of day, comma order date, or you can also use day of order date. So let me comment this. This is day. 
So again, uh, when it comes like day, it comes under measures, drag and drop into dimension. And if you want to display the number of days, you can do that. So, and I know like we are going to get uh, more number of days here, but still we can display some part of data here. You can see. So we are going to get number of days. So on day one, two, day 31st, or it depends on the month, but you can double click on day and you can showcase the number of days. And based on the month filter, you can uh, display those number of days in a particular month. And you can use single value drop down so that you can select a particular, <clears throat> particular month to display those number of days in a month. Okay. So this is what, uh, uh, this is these are all the functions where we can use or uh, these are all the calculations where which we can create date parts that is year or quarter or month let me copy this uh, day day calculation as well okay so we can also use we can also create a calendar on top of this by making use of all these fields. We can also create a calendar. So let me showcase that, but let me know if you have any questions on this.